All the best. What's this in it? Okay. Show you. Peace, Charles. Have a good life, alright? Okay, okay. Just life to the fullest, bro. There's nothing wrong. Hey. Wish you all the best. Kalau boleh, Moon tak nak ada stigma dikmirasi lagi. Macam, orang cakap, just kalau duduk satu bas tu, Moon melawang kat situ. I ni positif HIV. Ha, semua orang duduk tulis belakang, lepas tu senyum ataupun yang datang tu hak Moon. Tu je. Ini hidup saya, inilah cerita saya. Malaysian Business Consortium on HIV and AIDS Forum 2017 sets the stage for yet another important discourse on the prevention and management of HIV and AIDS in the workplace. It also brings together a whole network of corporate Malaysia and its partners to implement policies that matter. This includes a much-awaited statement by Human Resources Minister Dato Sri Dr. Richard Riot Jaim after the launch of MBCH Forum 2017. He says the government wants to draft a new regulation in an effort to eliminate discrimination against people living with HIV or AIDS at the workplace. In this respect, the ministry plans to make a holistic review on all its existing acts prior to coming out with a draft and bringing it to the Attorney General's chambers. No definite timeline is given as to when the draft will be ready. We are trying to work on it. We are trying to work on it. And of course, uh, by, by, by saying so, it means that we have got to really fi fi find out whether it, is, it has been practiced in other countries as well. It's a time frame. Currently, companies in Malaysia are only guided by a non-compulsory code of practice on prevention and management of HIV and AIDS. Because as you can see, after more than a decade of having a code of practice, it's unfortunately, you know, getting uh, companies to sign up has been uh, a bit of an uphill battle. So if we have a um, legislation in place, much as I don't like to force people into doing things but there are certain things that I think it would be good to have a legislation in place. Uh, for instance, uh, companies shouldn't be uh, able to sack uh, an employee just because he or she um, is diagnosed to have HIV. So far, only 42 companies in Malaysia have adopted this, with Petronas being the first GLC to institutionalize the HIV AIDS workplace policy. They will never be discriminated in terms of the employment or their jobs or in terms of transfers or promotions or anything purely on the basis of their HIV status because we do not test for HIV status at pre-employment nor do we test at any point during a person's employment. Right? So that in itself is a success in itself. Secondly, is I think by having a lot of prevention and education and awareness programs, it's actually gone a long way towards removing the stigma associated with HIV. So people are probably a lot more comfortable to be able to seek for treatment and go for the counselling. Hence, this year's MBCH Forum on Impact of HIV AIDS on Businesses could not have come at a better time when Corporate Malaysia strives to make ending AIDS as a public health threat by the year 2030 its business priority. Um, with sound workplace policies on HIV AIDS, you can be certain to retain the talented, you know, the most productive people in your company and those people might be living with HIV. And you're also giving away accurate information on HIV to your workforce. So that in turn then protects them from, you know, um, HIV infections. Companies which have come forward in support of MBCH is GlaxoSmithKline Pharmaceutical. GSK was actually the first company to discover the first antiretroviral, AZT, so we have a very rich history in this. Um, and then in terms of what we're doing specifically in Malaysia, um, we're very proud to partner with uh, MAF uh, to look at three things really. One is the paediatric fund, so it's helping support children living incredibly tough lives because they live either with HIV themselves or with um, they live in a family affected by HIV, so helping them financially to keep them in school for example. 
The only way to end the epidemic is to face it head on. HIV and AIDS affects each and every one of us and we at Hilton believe that all of us have a role to play, if not the responsibility to reduce and ultimately end the negative impact of this epidemic. Indeed, we are proud to be a business that is aligned with the greater global movement striving towards ending AIDS. Besides a total contribution of 5.7 million ringgit to the Malaysian AIDS Foundation in the past four years, Sam Dhabi Foundation's commitment to the AIDS cause is demonstrated in live performing arts. I should just play myself! You! You are not yourself anymore. You look at yourself! That is significant in the sense that we are saving lives directly. We can see the lives that we are saving. But the others are for sustainability of lives. Advocacy is the most important thing for the future of our children. For all uh, the people who are living with HIV and AIDS, advocacy is most important for them right now to actually eradicate the stigma and discrimination and give them a better life. Clearly, the Malaysian AIDS Foundation has come a long way to change the way the people in this country look at HIV and AIDS. Hopefully, there will be more corporations like the ones we've seen here at the forum to help fight their cause.